Hello fellow developers, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be exploring how to create a form in Angular. We will specifically use our existing login component as the starting point. So let's get started. In Angular, forms are essential for user interaction. The first step to create a form is to build the form model. We will use reactive forms because they provide more flexibility and control. So very first thing is that you have to import the reactive forms module in the module where you have declared your component. So my login component is declared in the app module. So I will just import the reactive forms module with that reactive forms will be available in your component now open the login component and here you will see that right now we have a very basic form with the inputs we are not even using the form tag but we will still make it functional by using the reactive form we have inputs and in the login component we have nothing yet we just have a empty login function and a constructor so very first thing is that we will need to create a property here that would be form or whatever you can name it whatever you want the type would be form group make sure to import it like this from the angular forms and now here i will initialize with the, the form group for that you need to inject another service that is form builder and then you will use this dot fb dot group and in this so this will uh, return a form group that will be saved in the form and then you need to pass the object this group and the every property would be the field of your form so we need username and then we need a default value and then we need uh, a validation to make it required for that import the validators dot required and then add the password and the validators dot required okay now in the html i will add a directive called form group and then we need to link it with the form that we just created in the component uh, typescript component and now we need to link all of the fields that we defined in this form group with uh, our input fields and in order to link them we will just add form control name and the name should be exactly same that you added in the form group in typescript file otherwise it will not work now i will add it here as well after that i will just display the content of this form to see what's going on so add form pipe json and let's see here we need to use form.value to get the value now you can see it is showing a json and if you type something you will see it will update everything in real time remove as well okay so now i will get rid of that and i will use the validation so to make the login button disabled so i will use it should be disabled if form is not valid so now you can see that button is disabled you cannot click on that uh, you can click on that only if the form is valid so for example if i make the input invalid the form is disabled again as soon as you type something the button would be enabled again now if you want to uh, for example use that data for example you want to log in you can simply get the username and password from the form dot value like this also 
use the password in the same way with that you can use these values and you can send them anywhere to the back end or whatever you want to use you can utilize them and that's it you have just created a simple login form using angular test your form by running your application and ensure everything works as expected thank you for watching please like share and subscribe for more tutorials on angular happy coding